hello good evening students so already you are going on the chapter right now that chapter 8 a treat for mosquitoes so now whatever you have learned from this chapter next part you are going to learn so you know me very well myself shekot sir i'm taking your reviews so now i'm going to start the next pages up to which part you have already learned now today we'll learn about the medicine for malaria medicine for malaria from early times the dried and powdered bark of the cinchona tree was used to make medicine for malaria because you do know earlier days there was nothing like that so many types of medicines were not being discovered earlier days so at that moment the dried and powdered bark that you know bark of trees so dried and powdered after taking out the bark from the cinchona tree they were making they were drying those barks afterwards they were making it powder so the dried and powdered bark of the cinchona tree was used to make like the medicine used to make the medicine for malaria now Earlier people used to boil the bark powder and strain of water which was given to patients. So one more type they were using uh, this bark for cinchona plant or cinchona tree basically. So one more way they were taking out the bark from the tree. The people were taking out the bark from the tree. So people used to boil the bark powder. They were using the bark powder in water and strain the water afterwards they were straining it which was given to the patients now nowadays basically tablets are made from this so earlier days they were taking the bark uh, powdered bark and they were used to boil it and afterwards they were straining the water and they were being given to the they were being given to the patients earlier days it was a process of earlier days nowadays by this cinchona uh, means powdered uh, and dried and powdered bark of cinchona tree from this nowadays tablets are being made of and we are taking nowadays this tablet for this to get rid of from this kind of diseases and we are getting free of this kind of diseases nowadays that is the medicine for malaria okay students Hello friends. In this video you will know what is malaria. What are the top 10 treatments of malaria at home? Dear friends you must go to doctor if situations are out of control. Anopheles mosquito. Malaria is one of the unsafe disorder of blood which caused by biting an Anopheles mosquito. Once this mosquito bites the human, it transfers some practices in the body which demolish red blood cells. The patient of malaria suffering from cold sensation, headache, vomiting, fever, and tiredness. Malaria treatment is easy and can be cured with malaria home remedies if it discovers in its early stages. You can also take quinine or other anti-malarial pills but it has poor side effects such as weakness, immunity loss, depression, and digestive issues as well. For this reason, I'll recommend you to go for malaria treatment home remedies if it found in its initial stages. Without delay, I am going to share traditional malaria treatment home remedies that will surely help you to fight malaria. Chirita and Orange Juice Chirita also called Swarsha is one of the best malaria treatment home remedies. This is because Chirita contains some antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and anti-malarial properties which help to reduce body temperature and cure malaria. Basil Leaves Basil leaves is one of the natural remedies for malaria. This is because holy basil contains anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, anti-malarial properties which help in malaria treatment. On the other hand, pain and fever reducing effects of basil leaves lower the body temperature as well. This time you will surprise to know that basil leaves are one of the best malaria treatment home remedies which used more than 300 Ayurvedic treatments. You can make basil leaves tea as directed in this slide. On the other hand, 
orange is an excellent remedy for malaria due to its amazing nutrition. Yes, vitamin C, protein, and calcium in orange help lower body temperature and orange itself dehydrate the body. Prepare as directed in this slide. In case you are suffering from malaria fever, grapefruit juice is the best option for the treatment of malaria. Take grapefruit juice twice a day for malaria cure. Cumin powder. Malaria treatment home remedies are not over yet. Cumin seed is one of the mind-blowing malaria. Home treatment which is used before the development of medical sciences. As a matter of fact, cumin seeds are rich in some essential oils, antioxidants and vitamins that stimulate the function of red blood cells and boost immunity, a study confirmed. Prepare as directed in the slide. Sugarcane juice. Studies have shown that antioxidant and anti-malarial properties of sugarcane juice help to beat infections, malaria fever, and boosts immunity as well. On the other hand, it is a great energy source due to the presence of carbohydrates, protein, and iron that reduce fatigue and weakness. Squeeze a lemon in sugarcane juice and drink twice a day for cure malaria. Apple Cider Vinegar Apple cider vinegar itself an acid that helps to eliminate fever and lower body temperature. On the other hand, figs contain a high amount of alkaline which helps to regulate the pH level in the body. Marinate figs in apple cider vinegar and consume once a day for a week. Hari tiki or harad tea for malaria. Hari tiki also called harad is one of the ultimate malaria home remedies. The high amount of tannin, amino acid, Quinic and shikimic acids help in malaria treatment. Boil harad powder in water, divide the mixture into three equal portions and consume thrice a day. Alum Alum considered one of the best malaria treatment home remedies due to its anti-parasitical properties. In case you are subjected to premature malaria fever then try alum for malaria cure. Heat a pan, place one piece of alum and roast it. Now grind the piece of alum to powder. Swallow 1 teaspoon of alum with lukewarm water twice a day. Lime and Lemon Juice A population-based study of Nigeria has shown that lime is a powerful element that fights malaria parasite. Yes, studies and researches have confirmed that lime can be used as an anti-malarial medication and there is no harmful effect. Squeeze a lemon in one glass of water, add 4 drops of lime juice, mix it. Consume this mixture before the onset of malaria fever. Ayurvedic Medicine Directions Grind all ingredients to the fine powder, divide the powder into three equal portions. Consume this mixture with water thrice a day and feel the difference. Diet and Lifestyle Advice Prevention Remove standing water around your house and improve your drainage system. Use Mosquito Killer Spray Wear long sleeves. Avoid alcohol, tea, coffee, and other beverages. Take fresh fruits, vegetables, and milk. Keep away from refined and processed food. Avoid meat and sauces. Have rich carbohydrates and protein diet. Drink boiled water. Stay hydrated. Take omega-3 fats. Thanks for watching video. Please subscribe our channel for more videos. Okay, now we are going to learn the next topic that is anemia. What's that? Let's see the conversation between the um, different persons. First, Arti. You know, I also had to get a blood test done, but they took a syringe full of blood. The blood test showed that I had anemia. So Arti is saying to other friends so like that. So anemia, what is that? Anemia is another kind of disease. Let's we we'll learn about this. So Arti is saying, you know that I also had to get a blood test done. So, um, but they took a syringe full of blood from my body and the blood test showed that I had anemia. So after taking the blood, they have tested it and they told me that I have anemia means I am suffering from anemia. Now Rajat is asking to Arti, what is that anemia? You are talking about anemia, so what is that? Because Rajat don't know about this anemia. Arti, 
the doctor said that there is less hemoglobin or iron in the blood basically you know that very well in our blood there is a pigment that is called hemoglobin because or iron is there in our blood rbc red blood corpuscle or red blood cell which means the iron or hemoglobin basically in hemoglobin there is a iron so it is present in our blood that's why the color of our blood is red so whenever this hemoglobin rate or this iron quantity in our blood becoming less that time the color of your blood from red to it will look like pale red means the proper red deep red color it will not be there so this kind of situation is known as anemia so actually in arthi's blood after getting tested so they found that there is less amount of hemoglobin or iron in her blood so that's why they told arthi you are suffering from anemia the doctor gave some medicines to give me strength so to getting the strength because if there is anemia in your body so the there you will feel the um, uh, less strength in your body so whenever you will go to do any kind of work basically work so or hard work if you will do little bit then you will feel uh, means feel very very much tired or tired some works you will feel after doing less amount of work also so that's why to get the strength in her body doctors gave some medicines to her he also said that i should eat i should eat jajeri amla and more green leafy vegetables because these have iron and doctor suggested uh, suggested him that if you will take ha uh, means the doctor suggested her that if you will take the jajeri or jageri amla and more green leafy vegetables so because if he, if he, uh, she will take such type of food items in such a such food items lot of uh, iron quantity is there iron uh, materials means iron elements are there so if she will take this kind of food items so in her body iron amount or hemoglobin rate it will uh, time to time it, it will increase so then it will be helpful for her body so that's why doctors told her to take such type of uh, food items like jageri amla then more and more green leafy vegetables because these type of food items contain iron now nancy how can there be iron in in so how is it possible to be um iron in our blood so how is it possible just kid it now he is saying there was something about this in the newspaper yesterday there was something about this this kind of disease there was something about that in the newspaper yesterday rajat laughing La means rajat after listening that he started to laugh so started to love so uh, then you are you eat iron or what so just rajat is laughing like this way are you are taking iron or what uh, means whenever you are taking food that time you are taking iron just uh, like a means ridiculous thing yeah, he is thinking about that rajat and laughing this way arthi is saying silly how much silly like this this is not the iron used to make this keys this is not the iron like that you were making the keys i don't know exactly what it was actually arthi is also saying i don't know actually what is this after i ate a lot of vegetables and whatever the doctor have said my hemoglobin went up so actually i don't know what kind of iron is this so after i ate a lot of vegetables and whatever the doctor said to me to take uh, the food items after taking these things my hemoglobin went up the rate of hemoglobin in her blood getting more and more so that so that is a thing so this way the hemoglobin rate enriched in uh, arthi's blood this is the solution
now our next topic students anemia common in delhi school so one more report uh, we have got from the newspaper so that is the uh, anemia is very very common in delhi school actually it was a time like 17th november 2007 Thousands of children studying in the municipal corporation schools in Delhi suffer from anemia. Thousands of children, just you can't imagine, studying in municipal corporation school in Delhi uh, suffer from anemia. Means together, thousand number of children from a particular school. This is affecting both their physical as well as mental health. So whenever they will suffer from such type of diseases, anemia, so it will uh, affect both of their physical as well as the mental health. Due to anemia, children do not grow well if any particular children or person will have such type of deficiency disease. These are called deficiency disease. Whenever in your food items, there should not be proper diet. That means if any kind of mineral, vitamin or carbohydrate, protein, fat, these are the constituents or components of food. Whenever such type of things will be less in your food item that that moment or it is not the part like uh, one or two days matter. Long days if you don't have such a, a particular uh, component of food, any kind of vitamin, it may be any kind of mineral or carbohydrate protein fat like these components if you don't have if you'll miss in your diet daily diet for long days that means you will suffer from a particular disease and such type of diseases are called deficiency diseases so this is also one deficiency disease anemia so if you will suffer or any person will suffer from anemia then or basically children they do not grow well and their energy levels are low becoming low day by day this also affects their ability to study properly if you don't have strength physical and mental both so then how you will study for long time so it will also affect the ability of study now health checkups are being done in the schools and health cards are being made for all the children so now at that moment from that particular school delhi's corporation school they have started to do means started to check up the um, students individually and they have started to give the um, uh, health card to them also anemia children are also being given iron tablets and from the school all the to the all the children uh, they have given the iron tablets to take for a long time that they can get free from such type of deficiency diseases or disease so that was the news from that particular school in the year 2007 17th november in delhi school If you have anemia, your blood does not carry enough oxygen to the rest of your body. The most common cause of anemia is not having enough iron. Your body needs iron to make hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is an iron-rich protein that gives the red color to blood. It carries oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body. Anemia has three main causes, blood loss lack of red blood cell production, and high rates of red blood cell destruction. Conditions that may lead to anemia include heavy periods, pregnancy, ulcers, colon polyps or colon cancer, inherited disorders, a diet that does not have enough iron, folic acid or vitamin b12 blood disorders such as sickle cell anemia and thalassemia or cancer aplastic anemia a condition that can be inherited or acquired and g6pd deficiency a metabolic disorder anemia can make you feel tired cold dizzy and irritable you may be short of breath or have a headache your doctor will diagnose anemia with a physical exam and blood tests. Treatment depends on the kind of anemia you have.
now students see the last topic for the uh, today so you can see the clinical pathological report in at page number 17 in your book clinical pathological pathological report or pathology report for that particular girl that is arti name of the girl is arti age is 12 years and it is written sex is female and diagnosis report is suffering from anemia so actually the normal range <clears throat> in our blood the hemoglobin rate should be like this 12 to 16 gram hemoglobin should be there per deciliter tl deciliter blood it should be like 12 to 16 gram hemoglobin should be there that is a normal range but it is the report for the year 2007 and the date is 26 2007 means 28th june 2007 this is the report and in her blood the rate was like or the amount of hemoglobin it was like 8 gram per deciliter 8 gram per deciliter so already you can see the minimum value also it is very less means the minimum range should be like it should start from 12 and in her blood blood it is 8 so already 4 gram per deciliter already less from the minimum value so it is very less so highly suffering from anemia that particular girl and after diagnosis whenever the doctor got such type of report and doctor suggested her to take already mentioned some green leafy vegetables basically fruits amla jageri such type of food items which are iron rich food so after taking these food items for few months and another report is there see clinical pathology report for the arti and at the age of 12 sex female it is written and the date is written over here 59 2007 so almost after three months 28th june to 15th september 59 2007 means 15th september 9 means september so after three months whenever again diagnosis report came so again the diagnosis report came like anemia but the rate it was increased from 8 to now it is written here 10.5 gram per deciliter already 2.5 gram per deciliter it was increased after three months almost so this way if she will continue the food items so the rate will also increase so if in three months 2.5 gram per deciliter it is increased so after three four months more we can expect it will reach more than 12 and in the normal range it will reach in between 12 to 16 gram per deciliter so that is the thing this way we can uh, get free from such type of uh, deficiency diseases so lot of deficiency diseases are there so we have means we have learned here about anemia so in next class we will learn about so many these kind of diseases deficiency diseases so students today up to this thank you visit again